God, this game looks peaceful. Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome to Medusa's Labyrinth. A game set in mythical ancient Greece where you... Explore a labyrinth? I honestly don't know what the story is. I just know it's supposed to be a spook game and I'm all about some mythology. So let's go. Uh, what do we have? Basic controls. Moving around, leaning, crouching, jumping. Jumping in a horror game. Holy crap. Equip a bow. You get to use a bow in a horror game. Holy crap. <laughs> Credits. Ew, snake body and a bunch of hands. Would that be Medusa or just some victims? Either way, there's your credits. New game, go! Mighty Poseidon, Lord of the Black Sea Depths, Swirling dark and deep, whose will shapes the currents of fate. Save thy servant, break open the earth and let sweet water spring forth, and everything else because it faded away too quickly. Uh oh. Oh. We've got a reverse control for the camera, and I do not like that. One moment. Options. Invert. Oh, nice, just a little checkbox. Resume. Ah, yeah, that's much better. I hate the inverted thing. That's fine for games like planes and such, but first-person game, you don't want to have it inverted. Or at least I don't want to have it inverted. It's confusing as heck. Everything's so pretty, though. This is neat. Think this was made in the Unreal Engine? I think I remember reading that somewhere. Yeah, welcome to, uh, mythological ancient Greece. Neat. Always like those trees. Not a very good depiction of them, but it's the pointy trees that you usually see in pictures of, uh, Greece, both ancient and new. I like the sky, that's pretty. Big bright moon glowing. No clue where I'm going, by the way. I just picked a direction and started moving. Ooh, look at all the plants moving in the wind. Neat. Very windy, too. A lot of wind, a lot of ambience going. I like it. This is good so far. Oh, right. I have a sprint button. I was just sort of... Just sort of, uh, moseying about. Let's try sprinting. Get through the game a little bit more quickly. Because it's a horror game. We need to go get spooked. Or something. We need to go do things. That's what we need to do. Where's that bridge? Here we are. Back to the bridge. Hey, yeah, that's right. I have a jump button. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Screw bridges. Going my own way. <laughs> you squishy sounds. Ooh, that's over here. An invisible wall. An invisible wall is what's over here. Always fun. They could have at least put a barrier or something. I always hate it when it's just... You can interact with highlighted objects by hovering over them. Oh, here's a thing. What are you? Parchment. What's a... Wrong button. We're right, I have to click. Oh, goody, I get to collect eight papers. Father told me he had a great he had great news today, but he did not sound pleased. He said I had been chosen, that I was to serve the temple as an oracle. I have always felt like I did not belong in the kitchens, but mother never let me see anything else. Dirty pans and pots all day. I prayed to him and now my God has answered. Why can't father be happy for me? Pans and pots. Do they have those in... I mean, pots, yeah, but do they have pans in ancient Greece? It's not really something that I've ever heard that much about. Just lots of pots and urns. Lots of urns. <laughs> like, lots of urns. <laughs> Neat structures, though. I always liked the, uh ancient world, the ancient Greek structures, the buildings, the pillars. It always looked neat to me. It's a spook game, but right now I'm having fun just being a tourist. This game's pretty. And I'm noticing... Oh. 
Oh, that's nice. Tiles. I guess they were building things. Because... Looks like some scaffolding or something. Uh, I'm assuming this place was under construction at some point. Oh, there's a thing. Thought I saw a lamp there. What do you say? Click. Gotta get used to that. I'm used to E being... things. Today is the day they take me to the temple. Father said I could not call him father anymore, and that no one at the temple can know about him and mother. I have a bruise on my shoulder where his fingers dug in when he grabbed me. The acolytes should come by at sunset, he said, and, th and that I should not worry, but I do worry. I have never seen that look in his eyes before. Father, why are you grabbing me so hard? Why, Father? No. Oh. Ring-a-ding. Ooh, big bell. I want to ring the bell. Hop, skip. Hop, skip. Ring. I'm ringing the bell. Yay. Oh, man. That's a very large, very heavy bell. You would not want to get hit by something like that. But I would very much like to be able to ring it. I like ringing big bells. I wonder what this is. Is there to be a fountain here? Hmm. Not a lot going on so far, though. A lot of atmosphere, though. Hey, we got a scared-looking statue guy. Is there a Medusa afoot? Fun fact, Medusa would not be in a place like this. She was actually on her own island, sometimes depicted being on the island with her two sisters, but oftentimes alone, or at least seen alone, just before you're turned to stone. Ooh, marble stairs. Neat. I like marble, and I like nice tiling. Holy crap, unintentional segue from the marble game to this. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Ooh, what are you? Yes, I know I'm playing tourist, but... Come on, even if it is a horror game, this has some nice stuff to look at. Look at those textures. You look like some kind of a demon. You are missing a hand. You must be the uh, Minotaur. Neat. I'm going to walk by you. Try not to dookie on me. I would really not enjoy that. I'm trying to snoop around. Do, 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 do. Wait, wrong time. <laughs> Cages. And nothing over here. I have wasted my time. Still, neat detail. Having an area with nothing to it, but still having props. I like that in a game. Sure, you're wasting your time visiting it, but it's there. The programmers took the time to make it just for something to look at. Something over here. Pretty sure I have to go here, but I want to explore. I don't know if there are any other papers. Oh crud, that's a lot of area to check. Because there's supposed to be eight of them. I don't know where they all are. Probably not here, so let's go back. Uh, I'm supposed to collect eight. Are they going to all be out here? Because that would be a pain in the butt having to look for them. How about you? Do you see them? Any papers? Nothing. Well, if I'm overlooking one, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, there's one. Probably walked right by it, too. Archaeus? Oh, that's a different one. She is to become his body and soul. She is to become his body and soul. Chosen by fate, they told me. An oracle to see the future and grant blessings according to Poseidon's will. I won't let him take my beautiful daughter. I have seen what the Hierophant and his followers do to those poor girls in the sanctuary. Chosen, but for whom? Whose will is she to please? Oh, also, that was number two. Oh, crud. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go looking for all of them. I don't know that it's that important. It's mostly for story. Uh, so yeah, sorry I'm not going for the number one. If I miss any... Uh, you're not here for reading. <laughs> and
And what now? Oh. Suddenly I'm awake in another place. I went into a temple and now suddenly I'm in what looks like a bedroom of sorts. Also, who am I? Like, there's no real intro story. It's just so far from the scrolls that we found. We are looking for a... Uh, or at least reading about a story about a, uh, a girl and her dad. The Lord of the Depths hides many a secret. And this paper looks like it was written on at some other point. Unless this is like a translation type deal. Neat decorations, though. I was never as big a fan of some of the art from the ancient times, like the ancient Greece and all. Some of it looks kind of nice like this. Shield, platter, whatever it is, looks kind of nice. Not so big on the, uh... Or is that a sphinx? Whatever creature that is. Some stuff looks alright, some stuff... Eh. Sort of hit or miss with me. Like some of the more dramatic stuff. Here's a... Here's a, uh... Picture of Poseidon riding his horses and chariot. That's kinda nice. That's classy. Ew. Full string. Full chain. Wait! I saw that. Highlighted. Oh! It's part three. Hey, I was looking for this. I'm not going to be an oracle after all. Father came, father came with some men and killed the priests. Ooh, that's not going to go well for him. One of his friends got stabbed and I screamed. Father slapped me until I fell silent. He'd never hurt me before. Then they dragged me away somewhere within the temple. They locked me in here with the wounded man. I can hear his ragged breathing. There is a bubbling sound when he exhales. They got blood all over my blue dress, too. The one mother gave me on solstice la on solstice day last summer. I wonder if it would ever I wonder if it will ever wash out. Well, she's taking this fairly casually. <laughs> her dad slaps her and uh then they kill kill a man or they kill others. They kill a bunch of priests in front of her. And uh she gets blood all over her and is stuck in a room with a dying man, and she's worried about her dress. Interesting. Then again, it's different times. People were a bit more accepting of things back then. This is neat. I like nice fire. This is pretty. Even if some of it is repeating animation, this is pretty fire. It's very smooth, very nice, very organic. Hmm, where am I? Really? Really? What was cr Ah, there's Crouch. Huh. Cannot see. Is it supposed to be daytime? Is that that light? Or is that still the moon? I don't know. And pull the thing. I like all the oil lamp lighting. That feels very accurate. Very nice looking. Instead of just a bunch of torches and candles all over the place. The visuals in this are nice. The audio is pretty nice too. I love the music. It's very serene, very calming, and ooh. And I've been sealed in. Well then. Big ropes. Ooh. And a steady heartbeat the entire time, I've noticed. Ever since starting it. Don't know if I pointed that out before, but yeah. There's a heartbeat going on the whole time, and I don't like that. Hmm. Dark and spooky. I don't know where I need to go. It's a labyrinth. A maze. Hey, Skull. Hey. Oh, hey, paper. Papers, please. Hey, it's you again. I missed your first one, but here's your third one. I still have some friends amongst the younger priests that promised to help. We are going to ambush them in the gardens and get uh, and get her away from the Hierophant's filthy fingers. But where to hide her? They will look for her in the village and she will not be safe anywhere near the water. Oh, my sweet daughter, why did you have to be like your mother? Beauty is not a blessing, but a curse upon the young. Because, yeah, if this is supposed to be uh, like Medusa, like this is her story or something, 
the original telling of Medusa was that, that there was a beautiful priestess serving under uh, Athena, I think. Yes, a beautiful priestess serving under Athena, and then Poseidon decided to have his way with her. And she wasn't a willing party in that, but was still blamed for it because that's how things went back then. And uh, then uh, Athena got really angry with her and turned her into a big snake monster. So, yeah, bad times for her. So I'm assuming... Oh, oh, I... Okay, that's where I came from. Oof. You get four ways like this, it's very easy to get mixed up where you're going. Due to the illness spreading among the servants, the eastern catacombs have been locked down and is under quarantine. Oh boy, we have diseases down here. The bridge leading to this area may not be lowered at any times. Times? Plural? Huh. By anyone, unless explicit orders has been given by the highest, by the high hierophant. They got some plurals going on when it doesn't seem necessary. So, I'm assuming maybe translated. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, this looks like a fairly good stopping point. Uh, I apologize for the lack of spooks. That's not on me. That's the game. A lot of, uh, exposition, I suppose. The storytelling, the finding the papers. It's still, it looks neat. A lot of neat graphics going on. A lot of, uh, decoration. I like the accuracy for a lot of it, because all the, like I said, with the oil lamps, rather than just a buttload of candles and torches all over the place, it's a nice change. And of course, the art and decoration. So it's been, it's been pretty neat so far. I like this. I'm curious to see what sort of spooks lie in the maze ahead. But anywho, this has been Medusa's Labyrinth. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.